Hi there, Desi here. We're going to do a quick tutorial on basic Celtic knotwork. You can see that I've got grid paper. The grid paper is going to help us keep track of where we are and where we're going. We're going to start out by laying out a series of points on the grid. I'm skipping every other square, every other point, I'm making my square three by three. This is going to be, if I remember properly, a three strand knot. Now once I have the basic four corners of it built out, I'm going to go in and drop a dot in the very center. This is a map root. When you look at this, you can see where you are and where you're going. Now you have an option in front of you. You can take this, this grid, and you can outline it to help you keep track of where the outside line lines are. You don't have to though, um, but it does help if you make your dots fairly large. The place we're going to start is in the corner. Now, we've got this, this, and this. You see how we've got a line of dots. You're going to come and you're going to hook around that dot. From there, you're going to cross it. So you can see you've got the start of a, of a cord, okay? When you bring this line here, you see how this makes this cord? Like that. Now, we know that this is going to come up here, so this needs to be right here. So that means that this one will come around like that. You see how this side is shaping up? When you get to the interior pieces, it's best to remember that it alternates. Cross, cross. When you're at the corners, it's best to remember that your first hook, each one is going to be going in the same direction after that first one. That doesn't mean to say that each one is going to be facing the center point, but instead they're each going to be following the same movement. Okay? So if you've got the hook there, that means that this is the straight line that comes up, comes around, and that means this is where this piece stops it. And this is where this piece runs in. Now, I know part of the problem becomes when you try to take the knot work itself off the grid. People aren't built with this handy grid on their skin that you can magically follow to create your knot work. That's when you have to lay down your own grid. I'm using black cardstock and a cone of white paint to help give you an idea. I'm going to do a smaller and easier knot now that we're doing it this way. Okay? When you start, you're going to lay your grid down. If it helps you, you can use your cone to measure the points. Okay? So I've got that there. I'm at an awkward angle. This is just a very simple two-strand knot. You put your center points in. You see the grid I've got placed? Now I start at the center because it's such a small square. And I bring out my first hook. Which means this is going to follow up. Hook 
around and stop. This is where this is going to follow up. Hook around and stop, which means that the next hook that we're going to place is right here. Okay, since we've got that hook going in that direction, the next hook we're going to place goes right here, which means this line has got to come up and hook around and stop, which leaves us room for this to come up, hook around and stop, and leaves us our last hook. It's a very simple two-strand knot. You can do any size that you want, whether it's four across and two down, or five across and three down. All you have to do is remember how to do the outside and that the inside weaves itself. Making sure that you have your good base system down. Making sure that you have everything set up where you can easily understand what comes next. I always start in the corners because I always know where I'm going if I start in the corners. Okay, I've got a five boxes by two. So I start in this corner and it curves this way. So that means I know that this one's going to do this way. When you're doing your knot work, you're going to want to endeavor to try and keep your cords a similar width. Now, we've got that corner done, both corners. So we have to remember to come up. This hooks under and it's going to be stopped because we know another line is going to come there. Okay. So all along this line, we know it's going to be like this, the hooks. Just like all along this line, we know there are the, going to be these hooks, creating that. Right? And there's that hook right there. See where it ends? Just bring it around, and it stopped because this is where this one starts bringing around, it stopped. So that's where that corner is. It all becomes remembering what goes where. Line. You see how easy it is to catch a mistake and fix it? Now for finishing, it's best to fill in the holes. You've already got your dots there, so you could finish by filling in the holes. You can shade in all the places that it weaves under. all a personal personal preference whatever you prefer and everything you do becomes unique to you even with the same road map myself and a few other people will come up with a different way do not work. All right, and that's basic knot work. Remember, like I said, you can do it with as few places as just the two strands. You can get the larger, that's a three by three square, making a three strand knot, a 
one, two, three. You've got this one, which is continuous, one piece. The larger you go, it remains easy because all you have to do is follow the grid lines. Hope you enjoyed this video and I hope it helped you. Have a good day.